OHN's Peter Monk Cardiac Centre, Dr. Ali Rabi is leading the team of doctors and nurses behind Canada's first donation after death, heart transplant. This is absolutely transformative. We are in an era of heart transplant that's going to change the way heart transplant and heart failure is done. Yeah. While traditional heart transplants are conducted when the brain has permanently stopped functioning, but the heart continues to beat, this procedure changes that process. And once a family agrees to take a loved one off of life support and a death is confirmed, the heart is then recovered by the transplant team. Dr. Ali Rabi says the risks are similar to a traditional transplant with a similar surgery time of about seven to eight hours. The concept has been around for a decade, just not in Canada, and it was conducted in Australia back in 2014, then in the UK in 2015. In the United States in 2019, so uh, there's been about a decade experience with this process, and we uh, were encouraged by the pro by the outcome. So we wanted to make sure that the recipients of this type of heart are doing just as well as the recipients of the other, the more traditional heart. And while this is the first in Canada, Dr. Ali Rabi was part of the U.S. team that conducted the surgery in 2019, now bringing that expertise home to Canadians. Dr. Rabi is an international rock star when it comes to cardiac surgery, when it comes to heart trans transplantation. We're just thrilled to have him back in Canada. And with nearly 200 Canadians waiting for heart transplants, the University Health Network says this procedure could expedite the heart donor list by 30% and save more lives. Every time that this has been done, uh, heart transplant has been done using this technique or new regions, new countries have started using this technique. There is a, a reduction in the number of people who die on the wait list, shorter uh, wait list times, and also improved outcome globally. So the hospital network says that the patient is recovering well following this transplant and they hope to do several more transplants just like this in the future. For City News in Toronto, I'm Alessandra Carnero.